welcome back to see Elise. Today you're going to see Elise clean. Specifically, spring clean. <gasps> Today starts my spring cleaning series. So we're going to spring clean my whole house, but I do not spring clean my whole house in one day because, ew. I spring clean one room at a time. So today we're going to spring clean my master bedroom. I like to start with the master bedroom because this is my room where I spend the most of my time. So if I do that first, I'm way more motivated to do the rest of the house. If I start in the bathroom, like I'm going to lose all my joie de vivre. I'm not going to want to keep going. So if I do my bedroom, I'll sleep better. I'll be like, what a beautiful room when I wake up and I'll want to go down to the kitchen and keep going. You know what I mean? So basically I'm just going to give you a nice and satisfying speed clean video. I'm going to be popping in with voiceover here and there, giving you some tips that I have learned spring cleaning my house. Some things I do to make it easier. One of those things is a checklist. I typed up and printed out a checklist for spring cleaning my master bedroom. And I typed one up for every room. And they are up on my blog as PDFs and they're free for you to download if you want. They're not like pretty, they don't have a design or anything, they're just black and white. But it's so satisfying to just cross things off as you go in order and then you don't have to think like, okay, what's next? And then you won't miss anything. So feel free right now if you want, pause this video, go to my blog, seeelise.com, print off the master bedroom checklist and then check off along with me while you clean the room with me. So hopefully those are helpful. Obviously you can scratch things out like if you don't have a ceiling fan, like then obviously you're not gonna dust your ceiling fan. So adjust it as you need. It's very satisfying to cross things off as you go. So there you go. Now let me give you a little tour of the bedroom to start and what we need to clean and then I'll show you my cleaning caddy which I also have a checklist for. Hi kitty. And I have out everything that I need to clean this room right next to my bedroom so I don't have to go running around the house looking for things that I need. So let me show you my caddy and my supplies and then show you the room and then let's jump right into it and clean this room. You gotta get all your hair off of everything. So when I'm going to spring clean a room, I make sure I have everything that I need just outside the bedroom door. So I have a step ladder for hard to reach areas. I do have big ceilings. I have paper towels. I have my Dyson plugged in, ready to go and the charger right there and all the attachments I think I'm gonna need. Then I have my cleaning caddy, stocked and ready to rock. So I have everything, I have carpet cleaner, glass cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, regular Swiffer dusters, extendable Swiffer dusters, Swiffer sweeper, disinfectant spray, wood cleaner, microfiber cloths, a linen and room spray, <laughs> and then I have my spray bottles with my essential oil mixture that I will talk about when I get to those uses. I have a sticky lint roller, I have magic erasers, I have a jar full of baking soda with essential oils. And I have my, like I said, vacuum, I have vinegar, and what's this? Let's see. Oh, could it be my reward for when I'm done? Yes, it is. I encourage you to think of a reward to reward yourself for when you're done spring cleaning. Put a Hershey bar in there or something, something that's gonna be like, yay, I get this when I'm done. So there you go. I'm gonna go put this back in the fridge because I want it cold. Now let me give you a tour of the bedroom before we start how it looks in the wild when we first wake up and haven't cleaned it. It's not that bad. So we have messy blankets all over the bed, obviously. I have very tall ceilings in this bedroom with a ceiling fan that needs to be dusted. Big windows. I purposefully did not clean or dust this week so that it was extra messy. <laughs> Tattoo the cat's gonna help out today. I have a humidifier, which I desperately need in Colorado that I need to clean thoroughly. I have a door to the balcony there. That is the bathroom right there. I have one little rug that will clean. Old carpet that I want replaced. But God, I'm just putting that off because that, that sounds terrible. And I got my checklist. And I'm ready to clean. I got my exercise gear on. Right away, the first thing I do is strip the bed. It's gonna take me all day to get all the blankets, the duvet cover, the sheets, the pillowcases, all washed and dried and back on the bed. But I do leave the fitted sheet on for a bit because when I dust the ceiling fan, I like to leave the sheet on and let the dust fall onto it so that I can just scoop up that sheet and throw it right in the wash. <gasps> Oops, sorry. The 
ceilings are so high, my Swiffer duster didn't reach the top, so I stuffed a little duster into the pole for my Swiffer sweeper. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? And I managed to reach the top. Then I used my regular Swiffer duster to get the pole and all the fan blades and then inside the little light. I usually would change the light bulbs, but none of them were burnt out, so I'm gonna wait on that. And then I let the dust fall down onto the fitted sheet and I took that off and washed it. I hate dealing with bed skirts, so to avoid the annoyance, I cut the entire middle out of it and I use peel and stick Velcro to stick Velcro onto the bed skirt and the box spring. So all I have to do is peel it off and throw it in the wash. I also decided to flip my mattress 90 degrees. I try to do this twice a year. I have two little air vents in the ceiling, so I made sure to dust those really well and then I moved on to the actual ceiling. I use a Swiffer sweeper, just a dry one, and I actually sweep the entire ceiling and all of the walls. Everything in my house is super textured, so it holds onto a lot of dust. I'm actually really surprised when I see the Swiffer sheet come off, they're just covered in dust. So doing the ceiling, I ended up going through five Swiffer sheets. one return vent in this room that sucks air in, and there's two others upstairs. So I just dusted this grate really well, and then I changed the air filter. I do use a really expensive, like super allergen defense filter in this room, since it's the bedroom when we're in here so much, but I use cheaper ones in other parts of the house. Okay, making progress. I already started swiffering the walls. I'm just gonna do the lower half now that I've moved the furniture away from the walls. While my four and a half year old tenderized my mattress, I vacuumed the headboard. It's a great way to clean your fabric headboard and get rid of dust mites. When I was done with the headboard, I gave the mattress a quick vacuum just to get rid of any extra cat hair that was laying around. Then I take a mason jar full of baking soda with a little bit of lavender essential oil mixed in and I shake it all over the mattress. This is a great way to deodorize mattresses and carpets and rugs. You just leave it on for as long as you can and then you vacuum it up when you're done. It's awesome. Then I used a bottle of mostly water, a bit of white vinegar, and a little bit of lavender essential oils and I sprayed the headboard. I just got new silk pillowcases because I heard it's good for your skin and your hair. So this is my first time washing them and the directions say to hand wash them in cold water with a bit of vinegar. So I did that in the bathroom sink, cleaned them really well and then I hung them to dry to make sure that they'd be dry in time for bedtime. Once I had all the laundry going and all of the walls were actually clean, I started in on the wall decor and art and then the small furniture that was around the room. To clean my lampshades, I always use a sticky lint roller. It works like a charm.
much all of my furniture, but especially mirrors, I always make sure to dry dust before I wet dust. If you get the majority of the dust out of your way, you're gonna get more of a streak-free shine. as a whistle somewhere in the middle letting things be simple let it go let it go hand me a bottle more than i can handle see you tomorrow let it go let it go let the nonsense make us start to talk i really like the shelf above the tv i actually found the actual shelf at goodwill on half off day and it was brown and it was a floating shelf that was missing the hardware. So I got it for a dollar. <laughs> so I took it home and I painted it white and then I used pipes instead of hardware to hang it up and I love it. So it was only a couple of bucks. We could be all that we want. So let us be nothing at all. We could be all that we want. So let us be We use that humidifier every night since we live in Colorado, it's really dry, and I do clean it out with vinegar once a week, but I just gave it a really deep clean this time. Once I got the top of that little shelf clean, I decided to start my essential oil diffuser just so it smells extra pretty. That's really the only reason I use oils. Everybody has their reasons, but I just like the way they smell. I used a cleaner that's specific for TVs and computer screens for my TV. It really does work better and it's better for the TV if you use a cleaner like this rather than something like glass cleaner. So I have it linked in the description box down below. I got it on Amazon for super cheap and it comes with a couple of different cloths that you can use for TVs or computers and I really like it. It gave it a perfectly clean shine. For the screens on these windows, I popped them out, brought them into the shower, I sprayed them down with all-purpose cleaner and wiped them with a microfiber cloth just so I wouldn't get a bunch of lint into the screens. Then I rinsed them really well in the shower and let them dry drip in there, and they were very clean. For the actual windows, I sprayed all-purpose cleaner into the tracks, and I cleaned as much dirt and dust and dead bugs out as I could. Once the windows and the sills were super clean, I used mostly water, some distilled white vinegar, and peppermint oil, and I spray them inside the tracks of the windows. Why? Because they're an insect repellent. So twice a year, I spray peppermint oil into the tracks of the windows and the door frames, and I never get spiders in the fall and in the winter. It's a game changer. I have wolf spiders in Colorado that are giant and they horrify me. And ever since I started spraying peppermint oil, especially in the basement windows, I have like maybe one spider a year. It's awesome. These giant windows actually don't open. They're just picture windows. So all I did was dust the window sills and the edges and then I cleaned the inside with glass cleaner. As you can see outside, it's super gray. We were about two hours away from a pretty big snowstorm at this point. So I did not clean the outside of my windows. I haven't hooked up my hoses yet for the year and this is the second story. So in the end of May, when I'm confident that the snow is done, I'm gonna hook up my hoses and I have a spray that you hook up to the hose so you can clean the outside of your windows without having to rinse or wipe them. So I'm gonna do that just before summer. I get tired just thinking about you.
Just Leather Ottoman is home to an extra set of sheets and a couple of quilts for winter time, so all I did was dust it. I was surprised at how well this Dyson did on the cat tree. I had to empty it out of fur halfway through cleaning it too, so it got a lot of fur off. Of course, the second the cat tree was clean, my cat got into it. Then I cleaned the door to the balcony. So this is probably the last window or door in the house that has blinds on it. I hate blinds, they're noisy, they're not safe, they collect a ton of dust. But in the summer, the summer sunset comes in that door so bright that I can't sit in the evenings here in my bed and watch a TV show. So I keep it there. Maybe one day I'll figure out some sort of curtain situation that's not so annoying, but for now they stay. So I dusted both sides of the blinds, then I cleaned the glass in the door as well. Let you do, would you go? Let me know. So, oh, oh. what if I just lose my mind? Make a scene and run around. Show you what I feel inside all the time. Hey. What if I just lose? Okay, so I'm five hours in. I did get a late start today. I started like at 11.30 because laziness. So that's what I get. But now I'm gonna cook dinner and take a break. Pretty much everything up high is done. I just have the down low stuff to do, like the floors, the baseboards, and blah, 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 blah. So I have some more to do and all the bedding is still being washed. So I'm just gonna take a little break, let my vacuum charge, let the laundry keep going, and then I'll be back. So this is a crazy angle. <laughs> I pointed my camera under the bed so you could see that my Dyson stick vacuum got all the way under my bed perfectly and got to clean every single surface without moving my bed. So that was totally awesome. I worked smart, not hard, <laughs> and it really did fit perfectly and I was able to clean all the way up to the wall and get a perfect clean. So I was pretty excited. After I got all of my furniture clean, everything was dusted, the bed was clean, and under the bed was clean, I started in on the baseboards. Obviously I used a Swiffer duster first and I dry dusted all around the room, and then I put all-purpose cleaner on a microfiber cloth and wiped them down all the way around the room. I had three more doors to clean. So first was the closet door. So I started in with Swiffer first, then all-purpose cleaner, and then for any stubborn spots and scuffs, I used a magic eraser. Why can't we 
Finally, it was time for the floors. So I used my Dyson in this little small attachment. I got right up against the baseboards. I went parallel, very slowly, back and forth, all the way around the room. And then I also turned the vacuum and went perpendicular for a different angle to make sure I got all the cat hair because that is where it collects, right in the corner, right by the baseboards. I do really want new carpet, you guys, and I said that when we first moved into this house six years ago, and I still haven't done it, but I've just, dreading it because it's gonna uproot my life. Like I'm just putting it off because I think it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> I wish, maybe I can, maybe I can do it when I'm on vacation or something and just have them come in and do the carpet and I won't be here. Then I started vacuuming behind the furniture that I had pulled out and then slowly moving the furniture back where it belongs. For the little rug runner that I keep at the foot of the bed, I vacuumed the back of it and the top of it. I figured that way I got all of the cat hair and dust off. Then I vacuumed up the last of that baking soda that was deodorizing my mattress.
Here's another view of that bed skirt. All I had to do is reach in and find the Velcro and stick it on. It's so much easier than having to take off the entire mattress or lift it up and try to smush the bed skirt in there. I finished putting the bed together when the silk pillowcases were dry. The vinegar actually really helped keep them super soft. I also like to spread the bedspread out onto the mattress to put the duvet cover on. I find that when it's all spread out first, it's easier to just slide the duvet cover over it. I also washed all of the throw blankets, so literally everything was clean in this room. <laughs> Then I finished vacuuming all the way up to the closet, which I saved for the next day because at this point it was like 8.30 p.m. I was ready for my spiked seltzer and laying in bed. So after a good night's sleep, I tackled the closet. That's the entrance to the attic in the ceiling, so I do get quite a bit of dust up there at the ceiling, so I swiffered that really well and organized a little bit. I really do try to keep up with my closet, but ever since I did my big KonMari organization video, I've really done a good job of keeping up with my clothes and keeping them organized, which I'm very proud of. The most cleaning I needed to do was this vanity area. It was very dirty with makeup and hair because that's where I do my makeup and hair. I have this weird vintage ad for women's deodorant, mum's deodorant from 1926. I think it's really funny. And so I keep it in my room where I get ready. It's saying that apparently a good deodorant is your secret to like getting a good man. So that, that really makes me happy. <laughs> I stole this cute little bowl from the kitchen to just wrangle my hair ties, clips, and headbands. I have these little battery powered lights in here because I actually don't have an outlet in my closet. So I changed the batteries and they were all super bright with fresh new batteries.
Then to finish up my closet, I ran the vacuum really well and I spent extra time around my vanity to make sure I got all of my hair off of the carpet. <laughs> Once I got all my vacuuming done, everything was done. The bedroom was perfect and the closet was perfect. So tune in next time. The next room we're doing is my master bathroom right next to my bedroom. So I have a ton to clean in here. We're gonna clean all the tiles, the grout, the sinks, the, you know, we're gonna clean everything and clean out the drawers and the cupboards. So make sure you're subscribed so that you get alerted when I post my new bathroom clean so you don't miss out on me cleaning this poop dungeon. <laughs> And you know you want to watch me scrub toilets. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.